Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Mitsubishi uh, Ford D8 card. It's a uh, analog, uh, analog output card that we're going to be adding to our FX3 series PLC and we're going to check it out uh, how to wire it and also we're going to be checking out how to uh, set it up and uh, start pretty much reading the values inside the PLC. So uh, if you haven't checked the last video where we did the analog input card, that's going to be in video in the description below. All the manuals, any related videos or anything else that I think will benefit you in any possible way, that is going to be in the description below. So do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. There we go, all set up and wired so so we can go through quickly exactly how uh, everything is working in here. Guys, again, do check out uh, the analog input cards first video where we actually go through all of this setup in here, how to get uh, these uh, things uh, going, added and, and uh, so on. So uh, for the wiring, again, we do need a... Uh, 24 volt signal plus minus 24 and a earth and again and the actual card is literally identical uh, for the outputs so you got v1 uh, v2 v3 v4 and i1 i2 and i3 and i4 and so so it comes all the way to one from one to four so to read out of the voltage the voltage is going to be output from this card you just need the plus is going to go to whatever you're going to be sending to in our case we're going to be sending again into the meter reading those values out so this time the card will be outputting voltage rather than receiving because we in the last video we did on uh, four to ten milliamps in this video for this card we are going to be outputting the volts so for the output volts v plus is going to be our plus and com is going to be our minus so that you can send it to whatever equipment you want to control like you can control the drive send the 0 to 10 volts in there or you can uh, have a 5 to uh, 4 to 20 milliamps send out to a uh, some form of a solid state relays to control your uh, heating elements and things like that so we are going to be uh, checking them out uh, sometime in the future for some forum process setups and things like that. So uh, that's pretty much how you do it. And for the, to get out the uh, 4 to 10 milliamps, you do need to make sure that the V1 and I1 is joined together. And that way the PLC will understand that what value, what it is supposed to read. Still, again, there's still a switch that you need to switch uh, switch on inside the switch on and off for uh, current in inside the PLC. We're going to check that out in a minute in a software. So uh, having said that, so we have done the wiring. Hopefully this is understandable. So let's get to the computer. Here we go. So now we're in front of the computer. So uh, as usual, we need to check out our manual. So what's been assigned to our card. As you can see around here is FX3U4DA and make sure that ADP is named because there's one right up here, which is FX3U4DA. That is for the 3G and 3U PLCs, and I don't think, I'm, I'm, I have a bad feeling they're phasing this card out, and it's, it's, it's absolutely different setup, so we might look at that one day. So, first thing first, let's have a look at what's been assigned to our card. Uh, here we go, so... Uh, if you can see this uh, for switching mode, for switching to output uh, output modes, you can see the same auxiliary contact have been uh, coils uh, have been assigned uh, to digital uh, uh, analog output card. So it's the same as it's the same uh, switches uh, for us for the uh, uh, analog input card. So that's uh, quite interesting. So so if you want to use both. Both analog input and analog output, you won't be able to do it uh, because obviously you can only add one card to FX3 SK PLC. So you would need some form of the FX3 G PLC so you can have a, a separate signal. So same signals as for analog input cards. So it is for analog output cards. So we, as you can see in here, uh, if you are outputting voltage, we don't need to do anything. That stays off. And if you are... Uh, uh outputting current we do need to turn one of these uh wh whichever channel we're using we need to make sure that is uh, m8280 is on so let's go further and so have a look at the data registers 
And again, as you can see, the same data to registers as for analog input card, the same ones is for analog output card, but it is done differently. As you can see down there, program example. Now we are uh, sending a data from D100, which, which any you can, uh, we're going to show that in a minute. Uh, where to, how to get the data into the D100 and the D100 is transferring data into D8260. So, well, or whichever channel we're using, we are going to be choosing to uh, 280. So, uh, you're using the program like that. So, here we go. So, let's go and check it out. We've got the meter down here in the corner, so which is already is connected to plus and a minus. So, GX works. Let's start it up. There we go. So open up a new program. Fix 3s. Let's go. So because we're not going to be uh, uh, what's it, what's the name uh, uh, outputting uh, milliamps because we did that uh, we did uh, input milliamps in the last video. So I thought we we're going to check out our voltage in this video. So uh, we need to create some form of way. Where's the get the data into d100 uh, some form of way i'll give you some small program examples so we're gonna go let's say and we're gonna go for m one whatever basically we will have a, a some form of switch and uh that will uh, transfer a data we're going to use in application structure which is move what you're moving in there some form of number so so use a, your constant let's say 400 okay oh and then we also need to say where we're moving it and we're gonna say we move that to let's say d1 okay so now when we click the button it will move that uh, value into d1 but we're gonna get into a lot more uh, deeper into that in training videos so and um, from then we're gonna have a uh, m8000 always on m8000 always on signal and we are going to say uh, move d1 and now we want to transfer that. and that value will represent some form of volts which we're going to get to in a minute so d1 and then we're going to transfer that to d8280 uh, so that's the one in uh, here see this guy in here so we are outputting now some form of voltage into a d8280 so this can be manipulated wherever way you want it so here we go so let's uh load um oh my plc is not one second get to turn it on there we go plc is on as you can see a little screen i do apologize for whatever reason my camera is filming it upside down Just gonna, uh, I don't know how to do fix that so ah we more or less understand what it is so we are on the plc let's load this into the plc and once that's done uh, we are going to be checking out the values so close so now if again we're going to be getting more and more in depth with this uh, later on in some in programming videos so let's go into a uh, monitor mode and let's turn on oops, let's turn on the m1 as you can see i have transferred that, that value into d1 and d1 has transferred value in a d8280 and that represents if you can see on the meter one volt so uh if you want to check it out what else is been uh, what else is happening there you can go to the uh, tingle register to watch so you see both values have uh, come up you can uh, and then you obviously need to start the watch as you can see but uh, the, those values in there but it, you cannot edit the d8 to uh, 8280 uh, because that's uh, read only so uh if you try it as you say you try it let's say 800 nothing will happen because it's not meant to happen you you cannot uh, just uh, edit those values in that uh, data register but you can edit values in the one uh that because it's internal you can edit values in uh, that one so let's change that one to 800 as you can see 800 got transferred into d8280 and now we have two volts even though it looks like it's four volts so uh and the full 10 volts are at 4000 as you can see we can read out the full uh, 
10 volts. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much is uh, how the analog card works. So uh, and let's put that on zero. For whatever reason, I'm a minus zero zero seven. Interesting, but still very 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 low value. So let's just check out one. So to zero it, sure. This is how you uh, sort of uh, to zero it. It's probably going to be about three. Yeah. So I do play with that. Ah, here we go. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you uh, got you get your uh, digital. Uh, oh, not to keep saying that digital analog uh, output card going, and this is pretty much uh, what the values are represented. Uh, this is how ten volts are represented. Uh, zero, uh, zero to ten volts will be from a uh, uh, zero to four thousand uh, digital. Uh, numbers so you can do whatever you wish however you want to control it uh, whatever the system you're going to uh, control we definitely in later on if, uh, in the future we'll be doing a little bit of a uh, process uh, signal signal processing for, for the drives and and we definitely gonna be working on um, uh, temperature controls and all other business and uh, malakas and things like that so uh, in the next video we're going to be checking out the other card which is a temperature control card which is for the k and j type temperature cards so definitely want to check them out so on that ladies and gentlemen i hope you like this video and it gives you a sort of an idea now how to set this card up and get you on your way to program whatever you're trying to program obviously this is just a very basic program example so uh we are definitely going to be progressing a lot more with that with these values in the upcoming uh, uh, training rig videos so uh, that will do for this one so if you like that video please smash that like and if you didn't smash this like comment below ask any questions and i'll do answer them as soon as as soon as and as accurate as i can and other than that thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video